Hi, my name is Justin Conway. Today I'm going to cover how to copy the top 10 values in Microsoft Excel. Um, and basically, you would want to use this function if, for some reason, let's say we had, uh, in the example that I have up here, we have income listed. Um, and let's say these are salespeople, and we want to know who our top 10 earners are, the top 10 income. Um, the first step that we're going to need to do is rank the numbers. So we want to know who the top 10 earners are. Then we want to export that information into other cells so that we only have the top 10 listed. Um, so we'll first rank all, uh, there's 19 people here. We'll rank all of them and I'll show you how that's done. So first we're, I'll click in the, in the top cell. I've already performed this function so that it's laid out easily for you to, for you to view. Um, the way this works is you would insert the, uh, you, would, you would type the, um, the function equals rank, open parenthesis, and then you start with your cell uh, that contains the first piece of data, data that you want to analyze, which is uh, C22 for me. Um, select comma. And then um, this is going to be the range that you're going to compare it to. So again, we're going to start with that first cell, C22, and go to C40 all the way down here. The reason there is a, a dollar sign before the 22 is the dollar sign holds the place so that when you copy that function down to the other cells, it doesn't uh, move where that range starts from. In other words, if you didn't have that dollar sign and you copied the function down to um, cell D, what is this, D23, um, it would then pull the information and uh, and compare it to information directly from this cell down to this cell, and it wouldn't include the top one. Um, and uh, you can, if that's a little complicated, you can try it out and you'll see exactly what I mean. So try to use the dollar signs when possible to keep your range consistent. So we performed the ranking here. We copied down the, the function. As you can see, it's, it's pulling the same numbers in here because I'm using the dollar signs starting from cell 22 going down to 40. They're all consistent. Now we have our, our, uh, our rank. So we want to take the top 10. In our next column, what I did was the if function. That's equals if, open parenthesis. And then you want to select the cell that you're going to have uh, this if function performed on, which is the, the one directly next to it, um, which is D22. And you want to say if it's less than 11, which means obviously 1 through 10, which is what we want to find, then comma, return the information in D22. So that's what this uh, cell is doing right now. It's saying, OK, this is the number 3, which is less than um, the number 11. So I'm going to display a 3 in this cell. And uh, copied down this function all the way to the bottom. The dollar sign wasn't necessary because we're not using a range. We're simply selecting the cell. And uh, as you can see, it populated the information for the top 10. Then if you want to make this information uh, easily accessible or, or keep them all together, you can select all of the rows and perform a sort and uh, keep your top 10 in one section. So that is how to uh, define and be able to manage your top 10 in Microsoft Excel. My name is Justin Conway, and I hope that helped. Thanks.